Boo Michelle hanging out with Scott Henry. He's headlining over at the Funny Bone tonight. Your show, a couple shows tomorrow night. Yep. Gonna have a good time. I'm looking forward to it. I always love coming back to the Midwest. It does. Yeah. It's nice to Talk have Talk to you our here. peeps. Exactly. Now, uh, one of the things we mentioned that uh, you all came this close to having sitcoms on national TV, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah, we had a couple of them with ABC and uh, one of them with a network that was UPN. Right. And, uh, you know, that's just part of the game, though. You know what I mean? It was like an no, you can, Did you get to the pilot process with any of them? We or? got to. We wrote it. We did table reads, stuff like that. Okay. Um, Edie McClurg played my mom on the table read. Really? And, uh, uh, what's Christine Taylor played my love interest on the thing. And, and uh, so we got to do that. We got it that far. But I really believe a lot of it was, you know, reality TV was coming on at that time, and it was a lot cheaper to do something it's like tons that. Tons cheaper to do sure. things like and that. So, yeah. But they were funny shows with well, good writers. I mean, there's still possibility. I mean, the landscape's changed. You can hey, kind of create your own network, your own. <laughs> Listen, there's, there, they, there's, Online, there's I was a lot watching more episodes of, of people playing done. cornhole. If I can't get on TV and we're, we're watching people watching throw, toss bean bags, toss yeah. bean bags mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this is a rough world. <laughs> I've got nada. Now, something else that, that people might, uh, you do voiceover work too, don't you? Yeah, I do. Because, and that's a pretty popular and pr pretty prominent commercials too. Yes, I was uh, voicing Netflix for a couple of years and did Michelob, Michelob Ultra Amber, Michelob Golden Light, um, bunch of stuff, cars, tools, trucks, you, you know. You were like what, the Toyota guy for a while? No, I did, uh, uh, I did, I did do some Toyota commercials. Yeah. I did, uh, oh boy, a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's amazing when I look back and see just how many of the things that I did. But that was a lot. That's a lot of fun. You know, I had a couple. I had one uh, commercial in the Super Bowl, is for Michelob Ultra Amber. Was uh, it really? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a great spot. It was uh, about. A, there were some people playing football in the park, and this woman. It was for a new beer, Michelob Ultra Amber, which was. Uh, it was a dark light beer. Okay. So uh, the woman, you know, I said the world of light beer, and then she went up and grabbed the football. And then she came down, and this guy came and rocked her, and I All said, right. just got a little darker. And uh, and but the funny story behind that is, it's a, it was a good spot. Is that I went and auditioned for it on a Thursday, and I'm watching the Super Bowl at a friend's house, and I was like, and somebody goes, hey, is that your? Is that did you? Is that you? I was like, nah, I just did the audition, and then uh, it comes. I was like, back it up. So we backed it up. And it was me. I get a my agent blows me up right away. He's like, "Hey, they, you booked that spot." I was like, "Yeah, I saw that." So they just took my audition no way. and put it on the thing because it was so last minute. And then they ended up doing other spots, and it was on the Olympics, and it was no way. Yeah. And I did uh, for MSNBC. I did the uh, voiced the promos for the Sydney Olympics, and just a lot of stuff. You that, know, that has voiceovers to be are cool. fun. And that, that, there's another gig that's yeah. not hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good at avoiding okay, work. No. What did That's why I can never. My dad goes, your dad say about that? I remember when I told really my dad anything. that I got a sick out deal in, and he goes, oh, yeah, you getting any money out of that? Mm -hmm. And I told him, and he was like, you got to be kidding me. He goes, I worked my whole life. You got that kind of money? Are you going to be in it? I'm like, yes, dad, I'm going to be in it. So he had no idea. When I told him that I was getting money to do these commercials, oh, I was flipping him out. He's like, you never worked a day in your life. This is, <laughs> I said, be happy for me, all right? I'm not working my fingers to the bone. Now, see, I can see your dad. When you, did, did your dad realize that was you on the commercial uh, for, like, say, the Super Bowl? He or? didn't. Un yeah, I had to call him, and I was like, did, did you see that? Yeah, I saw the commercial. I didn't see in it. I was like, no, Dad, my voice was on it. Oh, yeah? Huh. I didn't. I had the volume down during the commercials. No. That's what he does. I can imagine drove, your commercials he's... drove him nuts. Yeah, man. He yeah, was like, you, mute. Get, you get any free beer out of that? <laughs> yeah, I can hear him saying that. Yeah. Well, there was no. Yeah, that's that. There was that when I did a car commercial. Yeah, you so they gonna get you a car? Get you a free car? No, they pay me. That's <laughs> that's so. But uh, I'm working smarter, not harder. Yeah, that's what that's. That All right, so what's next on the agenda now? Um, you know, uh, you, you have the experience to, to, have to write the sitcoms and, and do the voiceovers and things like this, but what's next? Well, you? right now, you know what? I, I really enjoy my life. I moved here and now I have this baby. All right, I moved to Lexington and I love it there and we have this baby. My wife is a consultant. She's also an actor. Okay. She was on one of those Liberty Mutual commercials for three years. It was the, what, She's the Asian chick with the son. You know what really? I mean? Really? Roadside assistance. Yeah, yeah, And then, yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah. the Indian kid's like, Dad, I know what a lug wrench is. She, that's your wife? Yeah, she's All right, on All right, next that. time you see that commercial, folks, that's his wife. How cool yeah, is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And so, she, so, you know what, man? I'm pretty happy. 
right now. So I'm just sitting in that my happiness. That is really cool. I'm doing some clubs, doing some cruises, doing some corporate dates, doing some voiceover. And you're doing and, the funny bone this I'm, weekend. Yep, and I'm you home. see where life takes you, right? right? I'm loving it. That Things is awesome. are good, man. Sometimes you just got to go, I'm pretty freaking happy right now. Yeah, good stuff. Scott Henry, he's tonight and tomorrow night over at the Funny Bone. Don't miss him. Get your tickets at DesMoines.FunnyBone.com. Good to see you, man. So great Thank to you see so you. much, buddy. Like a home week here for you, too. It kind of is. It's been a, yeah. been a while. That's it's a home fun. game. Yeah.